finally really starting to feel like spring and for good reason. And to look like yeah. it. It yeah. is. Well, and because, it, yes, <laughs> the whole sun and earth thing are going to start lining up here on Wednesday and we will switch seasons, stand eggs up on ends, you know, however you like to celebrate the beginning of a new season. <laughs> by all in means, the streets. If you would like, you know, there you go. All options are on the table. Uh, we are looking at a, a pretty brisk beginning, though, to the final full day of winter with temperatures in the upper 20s as we get things started. We head to the mid 40s by lunch. Sun rules the roost, so it's one of those times you stand in the sun. March sun's pretty good feeling, so enjoy that. But you get in the shade, it will feel like 46. Latter part of the day, a nice last day of winter with temperatures in the 50s. Just a skosh below, below where we should be. So, Max Track Live Doppler. Nothing going on here, and with all the water we have seen, this is a wonderful thing. In fact, we are in the midst of the longest stretch of dry days that we've seen since early December. We will likely go into Wednesday night and Thursday without any. We have one day with rain and then we get a couple more dry days. So with that little bump in the road, it's not too bad. Uh, last day of winter tomorrow, cold start and we'll call it a cool finish. The vernal equinox 558 Wednesday afternoon. There will also be a cold front coming in to help celebrate the change of seasons, which brings some cooler weather on Thursday. But in the eight day, only a little rain until next week. And that's good. By the way, when you're thinking we're coming up on the equinox, that should be equal day and night. But the way we calculate sunrises and sunsets, that actually occurs a little bit before the spring equinox. It occurred yesterday when we had 12 hours of night, 12 hours of day. Today we had 12 hours and two minutes of daylight. So we're now on the plus side. Normal highs are going up into the upper 50s. We will get there by Friday. Actually, Wednesday will be in that ballpark as well. Mid 60s for us on Saturday, but right now it's cold. Uh, the clear, calm night, upper 20s in Monticello. We see temperatures running middle, upper 30s most everywhere else, including the 39 degree mark in Lexington. The air pretty doggone dry and there is no wind to speak of. High pressure is drifting overhead tonight. That high will head on over toward Ohio tomorrow morning. As it does so, our weather tomorrow stays seasonably cool, but sunny. That is a moisture starved front that is diving our way. It'll be arriving here late Wednesday, most likely during the evening hours. That secondary wave down here that comes into western Kentucky, that one could actually turn into a pretty decent nor'easter as we head toward the latter part of the week. But for us, we'll get this out of here fairly quickly. Next big high will build in, and when that happens, well, our weather continues to be nice and it begins to moderate. So for tonight, mainly clear and almost full moon has been out there. It's another cold one, though, with lows dropping to the upper 20s tomorrow. Partly to mostly sunny, seasonably cool. A normal high would be 57, so just a shade underneath that. Highs tomorrow, low and mid 50s. We go into the upper 50s on Wednesday. More clouds, rain chance most likely at night for the beginning of spring. Rain will be around early on Thursday. Look at the warm up going into the weekend.